Hi guys, my name is Meg and welcome to my channel. Today I'm filming my 30 week pregnancy update. I can't believe that I'm ready to 30 weeks. That just seems like such a big milestone. But so I just wanted to update you guys on how I've been feeling lately, even though not a ton has changed, but let's get right into this video. So this week the baby is the size of a large cabbage and he's definitely feeling big with how he feels when he moves, which is like all the time, he's feeling like he's got some size to him. Like it's pretty crazy that he's getting so close to being born. I've actually had some first trimester symptoms come back, which I've heard that's that can be common in third trimester to have first trimester symptoms like nausea come back, which is a bummer. And I didn't have that with my first pregnancy, but, and it's not very bad at all. I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up all the time, but I'm really, really sensitive to smells, like how I was in the first trimester, and things that normally wouldn't bother me make me feel like I'm gonna throw up, and so that's been interesting that I've been really, really sensitive to smells. I've been having our essential oil diffuser running like all the time to cover up anything else that I could possibly smell, so I don't feel like I'm gonna throw up. It's really weird. Last week, it felt like the inside of my uterus was bruised in one spot because he has moved up, and then he kicked one spot on my stomach for like, all day and then for the next week whenever he would touch that spot or kick it or brush up against it it would hurt and i didn't know your uterus could get bruised on the inside but it, it kind of makes sense but i'm pretty sure that's what happened it's gone now but i thought that was so interesting that that could happen and i have been extremely stiff this morning i woke up by a cramp in my leg which is a power <laughs> and i haven't been taking my magnesium drink as consistently as I should be because I have terrible pregnancy brain. My leg cramped up really bad and I shot out of bed and then I realized my neck was hurting really bad. It was like really stiff on this side and I couldn't tip, well I still can't because it's the same day. But I called the chiropractor and I got an appointment for like half an hour later and so I had to get Sophia all bundled up and myself all bundled up and carry her out to the car seat when I couldn't, when, well I can't tip my head to the left or really lift his arm up very much. So that was quite an adventure, getting her to the chiropractor. And then he worked on me for quite a while. Like it was pretty bad. Normally they're just really quick visits. It's pretty straightforward, what's wrong. But it was a little bit more in depth and took a little bit more time to fix. And it's still very, very sore. Like I know it's just gonna be sore for a while just because of how bad it was, but I still can't tip my head. So if I'm looking, ow. If I'm looking really stiff, it's just my neck. So I've been, I put some deep blue essential oil on it and I've been icing it and just trying to rest more, which is really hard because I have so many things to do and I have energy, it's just that my neck hurts when I move. So I figured I might as well film a video because I can at least be sitting while I do that and I'm not tempted to go wash the dishes or something like that or vacuum the floor. So hopefully that's gone by tomorrow because it's, really hard to like pick Sophia up and change her diaper and like I feel like I'm kind of restricted in the things I can do. I've been trying to be consistent with exercising during this pregnancy which is very hard to do because I forget everything and I hate exercising so it's been kind of a rocky road to remembering to exercise. When I do remember to exercise, I just want to share with you guys just a few little exercises I've been doing. I don't follow like an exercise program. I really don't like those because <laughs> they just seem too, I don't know, regimented or something. I don't know if that's the word. But I've just been doing squats mainly. I try to do like 100 squats in the morning while I'm waiting for my coffee to brew. And then I do 100 kegels a day, again, if I can remember. And then I also try to walk a lot. Those three exercises are just really easy for me to remember. I've done quite a bit of research on the best exercises for pregnancy and those all seem to be pretty standard good ones. And I also try to stretch some, which as you can tell, I really <laughs> need to stretch today. I can definitely tell that I feel way better when I'm remembering to do those exercises and I'm remembering to take my called magnesium drink. The combination of all those things just really helps keep my body from doing this, what it's doing right now. <laughs> and hopefully doing those exercises will make labor go easier because I didn't really do any exercises with Sophia's pregnancy and my labor was pretty hard, which I know they're hard anyway, but any little thing I can do to make the labor less 
bad <laughs> is worth it. I think that's most of it. Not a ton has changed. I've just been really stiff and sore and, but he's been moving so much and it's just like, you know, you can't really explain it to anyone who hasn't actually experienced it themselves, what it's like to feel your baby kick inside your body. But it's amazing. It's just like one of the best feelings in the world. And I've just been trying to feel every little kick. I stop while I'm working to feel him kick when he starts to get active. And I stay up later at night than I should just because he's so active when I lay in bed. And I just love it so much. So, and it's starting to feel really real. Like the other day, one of the YouTubers I follow, she had her baby and she posted her birth vlog. And I was watching it and it made me cry because I was just realizing how close I'm getting to that point and how amazing it's gonna be to hold him for the first time and all those special first moments. So we're just all really, really excited and also can't believe how close I'm getting. So anyway, let's show you guys the bump. enjoy this pregnancy update. I know it was probably a pretty rambly video because my brain is just all over the place this morning and I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> so, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.